Hello out there, and welcome to Distance Learning with Seesaw, and actually Screencastify. I am uh, Ben Cogswell, and over the last few days I've been uh, thinking and getting a few questions on the best way to do uh, distance learning. I'm a big fan of Seesaw. I use it a lot. Uh, my class is pretty familiar with it. If you don't know about Seesaw, you can check uh, Seesaw out. they got a lot of great resources. Um, professional development in your PJs. If you'd like to join this presentation, you can see on the bottom. Um, if you want to check it out, uh, not the video version of it, but the uh, slides is tinyurl.com forward slash KR distance. You can see that at the bottom. I'll probably also post this to coachben.org, but directly to the presentation, tinyurl.com forward slash KR distance. And so one of the things that I've really thought about over the last few days is how do you do distance learning specifically with Seesaw? I can't just throw a bunch of activities in the Seesaw class and then expect my kids to do them. So um, what I've done in the activities, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this activity, it's going to pop it up, is I've created the activity and you can see down here there's the template, but up here what I've done is create a screencast with Screencastify. Let's go ahead and push play. Hey there, Kinder Rockets, and welcome to today's lesson. Um, in a second, so you, you can see, see in this corner, this activity here. But before we do, put it on mute. You can see in this corner here, I'm actually going to do a mini lesson um, here. Make it full screen. Here's my mini lesson down here. Um, and as you go through, you're actually going to see me model the Seesaw activity. Well, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do this live. Again, this is my screencast um, of me modeling. Right now, my lesson is on TH and SH. And if you kind of go a little forward, you're going to see me doing my mini lesson. But then, as you move forward, you're actually going to see me model in Seesaw. So that's this whole idea of doing my um, instruction in, um, in up here in the example, multimedia example. So I'm going to close this down for now. Um, again, if you click on this, it'll take you to my first example. It's my rough draft. So basically getting started. Again, um, you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a Seesaw activity. We're going to teach a mini lesson under five minutes for two reasons. Number one, Seesaw videos are up to five minutes. Number two, screencast to five videos are up to five minutes. Something else you might need for this is you might need um, some paper, like a whiteboard, you know, nothing wrong with just getting your whiteboard and using your uh, webcam and doing your instruction there, um, or Google Slides. Um, if you are not familiar with Screencastify, this is some information about Screencastify, um, the free version. It is free. Uh, you need your Chrome, most importantly, your Chrome operating system to uh, Add it if you click on this link, and I'm going to do that. It's going to pop you up, and it's going to take you to the Chrome store. Um, if you're in a district, hopefully they've opened that up in your district. Uh, this is a safe product to use for teachers and students. Um, but anyways, you can see I have it in Chrome. Yours would stay in stall in Chrome, and you'd have to go for a few steps. Up here, you can see on my mouse, there's the Screencastify symbol up there. And that's what I'm going to use to record my screen and actually uh, my webcam as well. So... Um, that's kind of getting started, the things you're going to need. Uh, here's also just a video if you want to get a little bit more on Screencastify. I've embedded this. This isn't my video. This is somebody else's video. Feel free to watch this later. Again, when you go to tinyurl.com forward slash KR distance, you can have the whole presentation. You can see the video uh, recording, and hopefully that will help you a little bit. Um, so we're going to kind of jump right in and, and we're going to talk about the mini lesson. So basically your mini lesson is going to be a um, direct instruction that's going to match your seesaw activity. Um, think about maybe one, maybe two skills, uh, the most that you would want to teach. Maybe it's review to get your kids started. Um, you can see, like I mentioned down here, you can see I can just use a whiteboard. Um, and my webcam, you can see my webcam down here. I can use paper. Today I'm actually going to do mine with Google Slides and I've actually built it into this presentation. Size matters. When I'm using my webcam and Screencastify, I think it's important for students to see you um, to make that person-to-person -person connection. You can see right here in the corner, it's fairly small. Um, and so that's definitely uh, something that we need to think about. Um, how close are we to the camera, our lighting, a few things like that. Um, this is actually what I'm going to do as far as um, my screencast today. So here's some steps. I tried to put these in a few different terms. Remember, I'm, I know I'm talking a little fast right now. You can go back. You can watch this video again. You can pause it. You can actually slow it down. Um, but this is what I'm going to do, some of the steps. I have my activity chosen. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a, a lesson to the sample student. In this case, I'm actually assigning it to me. I am the sample student. You can see this animated GIF that keeps running through. This is how to, you can assign it to a particular student. I'm going to use this as far as the purpose of my um, screencast. I'm going to get my lesson materials ready. I'm then going to record with Screencastify. Screencastify does not directly connect to Seesaw. It does connect to your drive. You could upload it that way if you want to directly go to, through your drive. You could also download it to your computer and then upload it to the Seesaw activity. I'm going to actually model this for you, but I wanted you, if you wanted to pause this here to see the steps to go through them in your brain, you can do that as well. Um, so this is actually my materials that I'm going to use for uh, my lesson right now. I'm going to do a lesson on sight word sentences and you're going to actually see me do the recording for my students. You're going to see me upload it um, and then hopefully you're going to see me share it with my students. And so what I've done is I've opened uh, this um, Seesaw. I got my Seesaw and this is the activity I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my activity. Um, I've, I've chosen my activity if you want to you can choose somebody else's activity and you can always go to this copy and edit um, and then and then maybe um, uh, change their activity a little bit of course try to maybe cite the original source so the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to make my screencast of this but I need to have access to the activity to be able to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and assign it I don't want to assign it to the whole class right now just to me um, so I'm gonna come here I'm going to unclick all of my students and then I'm going to click here on myself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign this. All right. So I'm going to click here to view it in uh, Kinder Rockets. So here now I have it uh, viewed in uh, Kinder Rockets. And this is where I'm going to get ready to do my screencast. And so this is the activity I'm going to do, but I'm going to think about my instruction. Now again, I could use just my whiteboard to do my instruction. Um, in this case, I'm going to actually use Google Slides so it will take up the whole screen. Um, and so I my screencastify is already 100% ready to go. I'm going back here. This one I'm going to use for my instruction. I'm about to do um, the activity for my students. And so to kind of make that connection, hopefully for you, uh, should I get this on? I'm going to get this on here. And this, you can see, is will be your prompt that I'm actually recording for my students right now. Kinder Rockets, right? Kinder Rockets here. All right, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on my Screencastify. And what I am going to do is I am going to uh, make sure my microphone is enabled, make sure this is enabled. All right, it's working. I got my FaceTime camera. And ready, I'm going to do my Screencastify uh, for students. And so this is for students. Ready? And here we go. Okay, I'm going to click on my entire screen. I'm going to share it. You can see down here um, where my webcam is. I'm not worried about it blocking um, too much. I think this is probably the best spot for it, but we shall see. All right, so here we go. Ready? Three, two. Hey there, Kinder Rockets. It's me, Mr. Cogswell, and today I want you to work on your sight word sentences. You're going to practice your reading of your sentences. Um, and so with that, here we go. Are you ready? Here are the sight words that you're going to need to review today to do a really good job with your sentences. All right. So our first sight word is the. T-H-E, the. Everybody say the with me. Sometimes you could say the, the. Our first word is the. Here's another word you're going to need. I. I can see you. Here's the word I. I. All right, another word you're going to need today is can. C A N can. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Two more words. This one is, you guessed it, it's like. L-I-K-E. Like. I like you. You're a great Kinder Rocket. And the final word you're going to need today is C. S-E-E-C. -E -E I see you. So let's review those again backwards. So we have C. Like. Can. I. And the. 
All right, so now Kinder Rockets, um, hopefully your seesaw should be open if you're watching this. I'm going to click on my activities, and here's my activities, and I'm going to, in a second, I'm going to add my response. Of course, this is not going to pop up for you. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and remember, if you want to see the instructions, you can click up here on view the instructions. This will show you the video again. Um, so here we go. Here are my sentences. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see the words we practiced are over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, click on your hand and you're going to fill in this blank spot to make your own sentences. For example, hmm, I like the. What do you like? I like the, ooh, I like the dog. I like the dog. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to drag over dog. I like the dog. Okay. Then let's see, what else could I pick? I like the, I like the pizza. I'm going to put pizza here. Let's see. I see the rainbow. Ooh, I see the rainbow. I see the shark. I'm going to use shark here. Shark, shark begins with a sh sound. I can see the, I'm going to use ice cream. I can see the ice cream covers up our period a little bit that's okay and then I can see the cat if you want to you can use the same word but now we're gonna go ahead and record okay we're gonna practice reading our sentences I'm gonna record and then I'm gonna use the arrow down at the bottom so here's the record button and ready here is my arrow oh recording in three here we go ready click on my arrow Let's see if I can get it it's a little tricky Okay, I'm going to click on again my arrow. Here's my arrow. And here we go. Ready? I like the dog. I like the pizza. I see the rainbow. I see the shark. I can see the ice cream. I can see the cat. All right, go ahead and hit done. And of course, one thing you always need to make sure to do, Kinder Rockets, is play your recording, right? Listen to your recording. Make sure you did a good job. Let's see if I can get it. It's a little tricky. Mm, sounds good. Sounds like I did a good job. Of course, you need to listen to your whole recording. All right, and then when you are done with your recording, make sure to hit this check button up there. Sometimes you need to wait, remember, until it turns green. But if you don't hit the check button, you're not going to be able to turn it in. So hit the check button when it turns green, turn in your recording, practice reading your sentences, practice saying your sight words. Oop, there it is. It's green. So it looks like I'm done. Then after you're done, if you want to, check out the blog. You may go to the blog and see some of the videos that I have there. Uh, do your best, Kinder Rockets, and keep up the great work. All right, so I'm going to take this off. That was actually my screencast uh, for my students. Oops, excuse me. That was my screencast for my students. You can see here it is down here. Again, it has to be under five minutes because, and that's the limit for Screencastify. Uh, that's the limit. You can see it's muted right here, but you can click it to unmute. If I want to, I can uh, give it a title. I clicked up here, and I'm going to title it Sight Words, and then let's put the Sight Words, the... I can see like. Okay, um, now one of the things I can start think about downloading it. Right now it's saving to my drive. I could just download it as a web movie. That's fine. So I'm going to click download. Um, you can see it's downloading right here. I'm going to come back now to Seesaw. Right now all these steps are again in the presentation. So this is the activity that I did as part of my recording. Now this is a little meta, but I'm going to go to activities and I'm going to actually find that activity um, that I did. So I'm going to go to the activity library. And then after I go to the activity library, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on my activity. I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to go to edit activity. Now I'm going to add my multimedia instruction or example. I'm going to upload and I'm going to upload, drag from here, whatever your downloads is, and I'm going to upload my movie here. Um, it's going to take a second for me to upload. Of course, I'm just going to wait. 
Um, you also should be able to connect it directly from your Google Drive if you're familiar with that. Maybe this is a little bit easier for you, maybe it's not, but it's going to depend on your Wi-Fi. Lately, my Wi-Fi has been a little bit slow, um, and so I'm just going to wait patiently. Um, maybe I'll come back and check on that in a second. Okay, I can go to another tab, but don't shut it. So here again, where's my sight words? Um, this was me recording, right? It said I was going to end in 17 seconds or if I want to upgrade. All right. And so I don't know why it's interesting that kind of stays up there. Maybe if I refresh my screen, maybe it will disappear. Um, let's go back up. Oh, there it is. It's gone now. I'm going to check in on Seesaw. It is still uploading. That's okay. So here are my sight words that I went over with my students. Again, you can see my internet's a little slow right now, um, but that's okay. So just reviewing the process, I chose an activity. Oh, here we go. This is part two, right? So after I chose the activity, I assigned the activity. I um, did the activity. And so you can see here in the activity, um, I actually, so after I did it in Screencastify, I downloaded it to my computer. I uploaded it, right? And then I'm about to save the activity, right? And so that's what you're seeing here. You're waiting to see the uh, it be uploaded. Hopefully it will, it will be done. Um, and this is just a, a little animated GIF that's going to repeat of that whole process right there. Um, if you would like more resources, this is my Facebook page uh, that I've been sharing with parents and people with kindergarten students. And I'm also posting some videos up here um, on my YouTube channel, a morning message to be able to connect with families. Um, another way besides my Seesaw class, I'm trying to post a lot of my um, lessons and activities on this website just so they're all in one place. It's definitely a lot of work, but I feel like just having... Um, Having kind of one place where parents can access all my activities or people can access all the activities is here. Um, and so, without further ado, let's see if it's, yep, it's still uploading again. Uh, internet's a little, definitely a little slow today. It doesn't help that here, maybe this is still playing. We're going to show that. Again, there's the activity. Um, you can also see with this, you could publish it to YouTube. You could share it to your classroom. All right. Um, one more time. I'm going to check here and then we'll check at the end. So uh, if you would like to give me some feedback, you can click here. If you have questions or you want to contact me, I don't know how busy I'm going to be in this time, but these are some ways that you can reach me. Um, hopefully this was helpful um, for you. Please reach out to ha if you guys have any questions. And uh, with that, let's see. Oh, there we go. So my green check, I can see it down here. I can hit the green check now. Um, and again... Hopefully your internet's a little faster. I got my instructions. I got my template you can see down here, my instructions. You can see good thumbnail here when I start out with my Google slide. And then from here, I'm ready to go ahead and assign it. There you go. I'm going to assign it to my Kinder Rockets. Um, there you go. I can already actually have with one of my earlier activities here that I did. You can see I have two responses, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, and so uh, I'm going to have to check and see how they did. I got Carmelo and Jordan that were working on that. Awesome. And with that, again, uh, feel free to reach out to me if you need any help. help. Hope this helps you. Uh, good luck with your distance learning and uh, stay positive, stay safe, and God bless.